Hey, this is Lisa Rojak of Behind the Knife with Chip Sheen, our resident tool tester, aside from little shit, that is. <laughs> and today what we're going to do is, because so many people want to know about knife sharpening, we're going to, Chip's going to demonstrate, I'm going to ask a lot of really stupid questions, um, and we'll, we'll show you the whole technique. So, so Chip, take it away. All right, well, we're going to show you a couple different things here because a lot of people don't know the difference between oil stones and water stones. So we got a couple different knives on here that have different angles to show you how to sharpen those. And uh, we also have the difference between a honing steel and a sharpening steel. So uh, this one will actually sharpen the edge a little bit. This one will just straighten out an edge that's already on there. So there is a little bit of difference between those two. And uh, the stones that we were talking about in the column, we've got the 220 grit which mm -hmm. is really rough mm -hmm. so that put a whole new edge on it you got the thousand grit a little bit smoother which is pretty much what you need most of your for most of your knives mm -hmm. and then over here we got we call this a finishing stone it's got a medium grit 4000 grit right here mm -hmm. a little smoother and this one is just baby smooth right here it's like for razors and you know putting a mirror edge on the end of your knife so you get that factory looking edge and now uh, we're just going to show you Quick how to sharpen knife. Okay, is it customary for them to to be double sided like that or do they come separate ever? Um they come separate and they come single. I've actually got a separate one over here. This is another thousand grit, just single, one thousand all the way through. Mm -hmm. So it's about it's the same as this one here. Okay. But it's just an advantage of it's more convenient to carry yeah, the double-sided. Yeah, they come side. in these little cases, so you carry less instead of four. Right? Okay. You carry two instead of four. All right. That's it. Okay. But uh, don't really need to start on the 220 today, so okay. we're just going to go for the 1,000. Okay. And uh, since most people have German knives, I'll show you how to sharpen those first, because they have a 50-50 uh, edge, or half and half sharpened mm -hmm. on each side. Mm-hmm. So what you want to do, make sure you have plenty of room. Get the knife, and there's a way you can do it. You can either put two pennies under it and get the angle, or uh, I've done this quite a few times. You want to keep an even pressure on the blade, and just long strokes, almost like you're trying to shave it off. And you just go like that, count out to ten. <laughs> we might have to move that. Right, side. okay. Then go back to the other side, same thing, just the main thing is even pressure mm -hmm. so that you don't get a sharp edge down here and a dull edge up here because if you push too much down here, your knife will start to get those little weird grooves in it after a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So how do you know when it's time to sharpen your knife? I mean, you, you probably sharpen your knives... At least once a week sometimes, depending on the knife. Really? I mean, I use this... 20 times a day, I use the sharpening steel to rehone my knife almost every 20 minutes. Really? But these, I pull these out about once a week and uh, use them on the knives I use the most. Okay. But you can test the edges a couple ways you can do it. You know, I don't know, I'm a professional, don't try this at home. <laughs> but you can actually run it. Ah! Like your ah! Whoa! <laughs> I'd be, I'd, but, uh, blood would be spurting at this point <laughs> if I did that. <laughs> that's, that's the old Japanese trick. You run it on the back of your fingernail and if it catches Oh, little, I can't then, watch. I can't watch. Wait, no, we have to get a close-up. <laughs> oh! You can tell it's oh. got a little more edge on it than it did before. Okay. So this is about the time you'd switch to the medium grit to okay. polish it. Okay. All right. And so the water, where does the water come in hand? The water, basically, if you don't use it with the water, mm -hmm. it doesn't get... If you do it enough on here, you'll get this little slurry, mm -hmm. and it'll be a little bit of like water and some of the grit, because mm -hmm. the stones will wear down, and that gives you your, it's almost like a polishing compound for okay. your knives. Okay. So the water is basically the lubricant for the, to keep you from ruining your knives and mm -hmm. ruining your stone, mm -hmm. whereas this one over here is an oil-based stone, so you'd use knife sharpening oil mm -hmm. instead of water, which okay. those work really good, but oil, the water's a little cleaner. Okay. Easier to clean up, too. Yeah. Okay. Less mess. All right. So, uh, and then you just switch to a different stone and just do the exact same thing. And the main thing is keep the consistent angle when you go through. Don't be 
Right, you, okay. You don't want to be messing like that, and you don't want to be going... You know, you want to keep the same angle uh -huh. every time. What would it, what, what, what happens if you don't keep the same angle? Well, your knife's not going to be very sharp. Okay, all right. <laughs> so uh, if, you, if you do different angles, instead of getting a straight, flat angled mm -hmm. edge, you're going to get more of a, like, a rounded edge, mm -hmm. kind of like if you're, you know, you're sanding on something right. and you just keep sanding around it. Right. So you'll get that little rounded edge. That's why you keep the angles. And they do make little uh, knife angle things that you can put on there and actually just slide along with them. Okay. But, uh... All right. And you can uh, see the difference with the Japanese knife right here. It's 90% angle on one side and 10% on the other. So when you're sharpening that one, you have to do it a little bit differently. Mm-hmm. The bottom, you almost lay it flat and you just go along. Is that on the 10% side or the 90% side? This is on the 10% side right okay, here on the were, back. Okay, were, were you running it flat? Yeah. Okay. You run it almost flat. And you can tell this is a right-handed knife because a left-handed knife would be sharpened oh, the opposite right, way. Right, right. And then this one, you pretty much keep it the sharp angle. You just go along. The main thing is keeping that consistent angle. And it'll give okay. you that nice polished edge where you can see it's getting all nice and mirrored. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right.